I want to tell you about a spectacular dining experience. It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. Enjoy daily sunset specials as well as the South Bay's best champagne brunch. The outdoor harborside patio is a perfect setting for happy hour every weekday from 3 to 8. Ports of Call Waterfront Dining. For reservations and directions, visit portsacalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. Welcome to another edition of Living Out Loud. I'm Barbara Venezia and my co-host Renee Horsch. Hey, Barbara. How you doing? I'm doing great. And we have a wonderful guest on this mini podcast. Oh, my God. We sure do. We've got Robbie Laughlin from the E-Channel. Oh, my God. How exciting and, is that? And he's with us right now. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, Robbie. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh, my God. Thank you for being on Living Out Loud. We, uh, Barbara and I have been doing this now for about a year. Right. That's and right. Yeah, so we're, I'm always like trying to come up with like, exciting new guests, and I was going through my Rolodex the other day. Rolodex, you can tell how old I am. Uh-huh. And, uh, I know, I get it. I, <laughs> I, still, I still use one. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I said, yes, but it can't crash on you. It's true, it can. I was just talking about this with a friend the other day. I said, you know what? When your computer crashes down, I still go to old school, and right. it always gets you out of you know. It gets so, you how do point. you guys know each other? Well, Robbie and I, we know each other from Gold's Gym. I think is the first time we we had met, and we had always seen oh each God, other, that, right? Um, a hundred years that was during the Ice Age, right? <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> and then just bopping around uh, West Hollywood, and and then you know he's. We have mutual friends. We do um, for sure that uh, have brought us together through the years. And then I I know I visited you at your beautiful showroom to borrow a dress from my friend Nicole Tom, which she looked amazing. Yeah, and oh she's God. and your girlfriend she um was the actress she's a star on the nanny. Yeah, Maggie wow. Sheffield. She was the the, the Beethoven the, movies, and she can concur- she just finished a. Um, a movie of the week, but you know, celebrities aren't supposed to talk about other people, but I'm an exception. I love to talk about other people other than myself, and I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, so explain, so it's telling Barbara all that, that, that what you've been doing on the E channel, right? Um, of, of the segment that you, that fashion segment that you do called Who Wore It Best? Yeah, Who Wore It Better. I or Who Wore It Better. I've been at E now almost 10 years, and I started the Who Wore It Better segment when I was on the Daily 10, which was when E! News was still a half hour, and then the Daily 10 was a half hour show before that. They got rid of the Daily 10 after three or four years and made E! News an hour. Um, a lot of people, you know, um, got lost on the sinking ship, and thank God um, they threw me a life preserver, and I went over to E! News and continue to do this segment, and it's always been, every single week, the number one segment um, for the past, I guess, six or so years that I've been on E! News, which is wonderful. It's become a whole phenom. That's great. That's I think they're Super. quite funny when you talk to people on the street and you yeah. show them the pictures. Mm-hmm. How much goes into your preparation? I mean, how well, do you select is, is, who you do? I do zero preparation. Oh. All I do is I show up. They show me where to stand, and I just, they turn me on, they wind me up, and I just go. I used to have some writers um, at E that would write me some jokes, and they would write some really funny stuff, and I would use it if uh-huh. I needed to, something fun, something to fall back on. Um, otherwise, I love talking to people, and now we do it, we do it at the Grove. We've had a, E! News has a deal with the Grove and the Americana in Glendale, so um, they've taken me off the streets which is nice because I've worked the streets for years. <laughs> you work those yeah. streets, yeah. Before E! News, by the way. Before E! I was working the streets back in the day, and I tell you, it's nice to get off of them. So uh-huh. I'm in the um, wonderful confines of the Grove or the Americana, and there's always you know, a couple of producers there that bring um, the people over, and it's easy breezy and super fun. And the funny thing is I've never ever in all these years got tired of showing up and doing that segment, which is so interesting because I know some people get bored or tired of certain things, but I guess it's fresh and new because I, I talk to fresh new people that I've never seen before. Well, some of the people you talk to, uh, you don't expect what they're going to, you know, what they're going to yeah, say, you never, you and never they're know. pretty Especially funny. Oh, yeah. In the days of Hollywood Boulevard when we would shoot a lot there, of course, you got a lot of tourists. Right. And you got a lot of colorful um, people there. You know, for sure, there's been times where um, outrageous kind of things happen, which never, of course, make it to air. <laughs> oh, see, that's like that's the stuff we want to see, right? I know, I know, but you know, <laughs> and I'm so fortunate that 
they, you know, they edit the, the hell out of the piece. And um, I'm sure I've stuck my foot in my mouth a million times and could have gotten myself in all kinds of trouble. But they, I guess, have my back and um, they edit out comments, you know, that could have landed me in hot water. So I'm, <laughs> I'm thankful for that. So you got a good editor. It's all about, it's all about good editing right. and lighting. Yeah. Lighting's right. very key, right? Right. It's a compliment when um, I'm out and about and someone comes up to me and they're like, you don't know me, but I watch your face all the time because I've been editing you forever and you're <laughs> so easy and fun to edit. It's the best compliment. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. So you were talking about the fashion police, Renee. Yeah, because yesterday. we had Melissa Rivers on right. in our last show, and um, or last month's show. And right. Melissa, we were just you know dishing with her a little bit, and then I was you know since you're with the E Network, um, yeah, Barbara and I thought, well, let's 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 talk to you and well, see. Well, don't what... you think the most amazing idea and choice was to bring Melissa in? Um, to, you know, to fill her mother's shoes. Absolutely. Well, I was as genius, and I couldn't. I was like, you know, there were uh, all these rumors or about different people, and I was just wondering, God, who could do it? Because Joan is just obviously was one of a kind, and just took that show to a whole other level. And when I heard that Melissa Rivers was doing, I thought, well, duh, that makes <laughs> perfect sense. Yeah. So I love that idea, and I love that Juliana is back. And going to do it, and I think they brought Brad Goreski back as well. Uh-huh. And um, so, yeah, I think that's really cool. And no, I uh, no one has called me yet about being a guest, but you know that show's been around for years as well. And forever, they've been talking about bringing me in for you know just to make an appearance or something for yeah. many years, even before Joan. And when I was on the Daily Ten, the the EP of that show was very strict. Like he didn't like us to go out and do other things, even though it'd be like self. You know, it'd be like all in-house, and we could prom- cross-promote. Cross-promote, yeah. Away. Um, he put the kibosh then, so now it's just such a big deal. They bring in, you know, obviously really great, you know, stars, and, um, you know, to be the guest and all that, ha- all that. So we'll see. <laughs> well, we're going to talk to Jeff Old. Is he head of programming over yeah, there? Yeah, he is. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we'll have to rattle his cage and say, listen. You gotta put Robbie on there. <laughs> you know what? Um, that would be Barbara and Renee. That would be wonderful. You two, you do it. You have my blessing. Okay, okay. so uh, we're, yeah. Barbara and I, we're good at. We're, yes, <laughs> we're good we, at hassling people. Uh-huh. Too, uh, Jeff. <laughs> you do it. We'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, make it happen. I need everybody in my corner. My God, the more the merrier. Yeah, yeah. So what else is? So you've got that going on, and then yeah. what about? Um, can you, you know, because at the E Network, do you have anything, any dish about well, Ryan yeah, Seacrest uh, or the Kardashians or Caitlyn Jenner? Oh, well, I, well, one thing about Caitlyn Jenner, I, I'm just thrilled. Um, I, he's gorgeous, and he's doing such an amazing job. He's a great spokeswoman, um, spokesperson, whatever you want to say. I don't know. Right. Um, he's terrific. She's terrific. She's terrific. He's terrific. Beautiful. Yeah. I hung out with him once in London when we were covering the Olympics, and he was an she uh, he was he was a he at the time was Bruce was an absolute doll. I would never have known the t- secret yeah, he was keeping. Wow, I really know. had no clue. Not I had no clue, and he was just such a great, great, great guy. And obviously, she is a beautiful, wonderful woman who's doing so much good for that community, and I think for everything really. Yeah. I mean, I think it's no, pretty incredible. you suggested she would be the face of Mac Cosmetics. Well, no, I had heard, I had heard rumors that she's rumor supposed to be the... went with Ellie Golding. Oh, okay. She's the new face. Okay, yeah. but it may, but I could see why those rumors got started because, right? Oh um, my gosh, she would be. Um, She'd be an perfect. Amazing yeah. choice, and that's something that possibly down the line uh, that I have. Yeah, why not? It'll probably I mean, happen. absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know that um, because uh, Mac Cosmetics, like they like to use icons, you right. know, as they're in their ad campaigns. Right. Yeah, right. They, oh, yeah. They use, I'm sure they're going to let you know um, hit her star even rise even you know bigger and you know blah 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 and just you know scoop her up. Yeah. And use her absolutely. I mean, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And so, what else? Now, now, do you know anything? What's going on with the Kardashians? Are we going to see them for a few more years? Well, as long as they keep having kids, uh, as long as they keep producing, <laughs> Renee, um, I don't think there's any uh, site. I don't think I think we'll be seeing them for a very, very, very long time. As long as they keep producing, sounds so good. Basically, forever. You're, you know, everyone's kids, grandkids are going to grow up and keep up with those damn Kardashians. Oh, God. <laughs> like locusts, they keep spreading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Robbie, for dishing with us and visiting with us on Living Out Loud. I hope you'll come back and call Anytime. us again. And I, Thank and you guys for having me. Thank you. I'm going to take you out for drinks, okay? 
I love it. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Robbie. Yeah. Take it easy. Bye now. Bye. Love you. Bye. Well, that wraps up another edition of our mini podcast, Living Out Loud. I'm Barbara Venezia. And I'm Renee Horsch. And until next time, keep living out loud.